Open your book to page 611. Today's lesson is on solving equations using the substitution method. So let's go to example 4. Example 4, you have two equations. You have x plus y equal to 4, and you have y equal to x plus 2. Notice one of the variables is always solved already. Right? You have y equal to the whatever the expression. Okay, or when two equations look different, you want to use substitution method. So I will cover this more later, okay, of what method to use. So when this is already solved, so you want to use substitution method, so you want to substitute this into here. Okay? The concept of a substitution is like, you know, you're trying to make a change, right? You have one dollar bill, and you're going to exchange it for four quarters, right? That's the same idea. So over here, imagine you have one dollar bill, and you're going to exchange it for four quarters. So you're going to change this into x plus 2. Okay? So again, this is just like a dollar bill, and this is like the quarters. So you're just making exchange. That's all you're doing. So now, you have only one variable left. So now you can go and solve. So let's go and simplify this. So you got 2x plus 2 equal to 4. So minus 2 on each side, you get 2x equal to 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, so x equal to 1. So once you solve for one variable, now you're going to substitute back in here. So you got y equal to 1 plus 2, so y equal to 3, and that's it. So let's go to So let's, let's look at the home, uh, homework problem. So let's go to page 614. So how do you know what method to use? So if you look at your homework problem, so when two equations look different, then you want to use the substitution technique. When two equations look alike, you want to use elimination method. So like this problem over here, so you, this one you want to use substitution method. So number one, again, look, look at your book. Okay? So number one, they, you have this kind of equation, the two equations that are different, so use substitution method. So like this one, you want to use substitution method. But when you look at number 15, when you have number 15, two equations look similar, so you want to use elimination method. Okay, so that's how you know what method to use. So let's go ahead and do some practice. 